zero to B. Learning better is better. Please subscribe to us. We love you so much. Oh, all right. So yeah, so we were back back to our screen flow four, and I wanted to show you really really quickly how do you turn on the chroma key. Really, the hard part is not inside the tool. The tool is so so easy. The hard part is really setting up the that layer behind me, which you can see that is not perfect, which is so great because the green was so hard. And and let me just show it to you. I'll get out of the frame. Literally, there's wrinkles all over, and it's fine. Now, the, the important part is that I put there a layer of light, and there's basically two lights on both sides that they're aiming towards that, that to make it as, as uh, the color as um, consistent as possible. And even though the color isn't 100% consistent, the tool is working wonders. Now, obviously, well, we talked about this in the last video. If you haven't seen it, then check our video that we just did. Um, but let's jump in and see how do we actually get rid of that background. So I'm just going to go to the, our video exactly in the spot where in our video we wanted to replace it. I'm going to highlight that area. Once I've highlighted it, I'm going to go to my video properties panel. And I'm just going to scroll down and add a video filter. I'm going to click on add video filter and we're going to see that there's going to be a lot of options here. We're going to pick the chroma key. By clicking OK, we're going to add a chroma key. And you'll see that the default is not all that right now, but we could fix that. We could see that our default is looking for all the grays and getting rid of the grays. Instead of that, I'm just going to help the tool by clicking on the color and then just clicking on the spot that I think is best. And I could just zoom in and really just try to find that color that is the best color. And, uh, and I'm quite happy with the way it is you can see when I pick the color here when I pick the color here which is lighter we could see the darker shadows of the blue shadows but as I got closer it found that balance because of the tolerance level so now all I have to do now is I could close this down now that I picked a color I could just screen through it a bit and just see that all the colors that are not getting pixelations and I could even zoom in a little bit more if I really wanted to to just try to make sure that um, I got the least amount of, of pixelations that I that I could get. Um, <laughs> that's a great photo. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. So yay. All right. So um, if I had any issues, I could have played with the white chip, basically playing around with the with the configuration to add or remove more of that tolerance to white and overall tolerance itself, and change the angle. Which, to be honest, I don't really know what the difference between all these three are. All I know is that just playing with them a bit gives me better results. And usually the default that the application gives me is quite good, which I'm really, really surprised. It wasn't true when I was using a green screen because as we said, my skin complexion is quite green. And because my eyes are relatively green, they're like this dark swampy green. So just green doesn't work for me, but blue, there's just almost no blue in my skin complexion. And as because of that, it's really easy for me to do a, all right. So it, I, th I think it's time for a jingle. Please subscribe to us, we love you so much.